Being able to get a mortgage is all about credit history as well as income and affordability. So if you don't know if your credit history is good or not, you need to check it before getting on the property ladder or having a chance of getting on the property ladder. This video, I've taken a few questions from all over the country regarding credit history. So stay tuned and we'll see you in a second. So this week we're going to focus purely on credit history. So let's get to it, and we will see see how we get see how we get on. So, how question number one is how do I check my uh, credit history? That was from Joanne in Edinburgh. Uh, so, Joanne, it's very easy to check your credit history and what your credit score is is currently. So I put a link in the little description in this live video so you'll find that somewhere uh, there's a company called check my file we're not affiliated with them or, or, or anything like that it's just uh, the the good thing with check my file is it's free for 30 days but it covers four different credit reference agencies and it's not just one so again some people can make the mistake of going on Experian and seeing the credit history and it's not the same on all credit providers so I think it's very important to get one that covers all four because when a lender is checking you will not necessarily just use one credit file so I've put a link in the description you just click on that link it'll take you to the website you can sign up it's free for 30 days but you can cancel it you know whenever you want you don't even have to pay for the first payment you can cancel it within that time I think it's a brilliant tool uh, me personally I've signed up to a credit uh, reference agency for years and years and years I just think it's worth it's, it's worth the money but uh, good it's good to keep an eye on it I always say treat your credit history like your firstborn uh, you know look after it nurture it and and just always always maintain it and look after it because eventually it'll be good to you hopefully just like children next question was William from Dalkeith uh, I have a poor credit history what can I do to improve now it's a tricky one because without without knowing the details of what your poor credit history is, William, uh, I can only give a few hints and tips. The main thing is is don't miss any payments, and I know that might sound obvious, but you know get your credit card set up on direct debit. Don't be paying things you know by bank tra transfer every month. Just just get them set up on a DD or a standing order. Don't have to think about it. Just make sure it's getting paid. And that includes your mobile phone. Uh, communications defaults are very, very popular and it does cause problems. Uh, so poor credit history, what can I do to improve it? So make sure that you do that. Get registered on the voters roll as well. That is very important. Lenders want to be able to find you. They want to be able to find you on the voters roll. Uh, also, if you have a credit card, I encourage you to use it, believe it or not, but I don't encourage you to overspend on it. What I encourage you to do is, is spend on it each month. So instead of using your debit card, right, and you go and buy your fuel and your shopping and your bits and pieces, you could buy that on a credit card. So you buy your fuel, you buy your shopping, and then at the end of the month you get the bill in and then you pay that off. So every month that goes by, you're taking on credit and then you're then paying that credit off. So every month that goes by, it's another green stamp on your credit file. And that builds up over time, and that history builds, and your score will build. So you get yourself on the voters roll, you don't miss any payments on anything, and, and you use that credit card to, to build your score as well. It's not going to happen overnight, but it will take time. So without knowing more, that would be my general rule, but uh, by all means get in touch and we can discuss it a little bit more. I have a question here from my uh, hometown at the moment, which is where I where I currently live. My original hometown is Gala Shields, by the way, but I live in Dunbar. Uh, so, question from Greg in Dunbar is, what do lenders look for? Every lender looks at this differently. So, no two lenders have the same credit profile for for any for for, for clients. So, RBS and Nationwide, as an example have two completely different credit scoring systems. 
so it's not a one size fit all so we as mortgage brokers we've got access to 90 plus mortgage lenders they're all different so if you come to me greg and i would have a look at your uh, fact find so so i ask you some questions i would then you know find out a bit more about your credit history and then from there i could ascertain well we don't want to go to x y and z lenders we'll go to a b and c lenders now so what they're looking for is a good credit history obviously they're looking for how big your deposit is going to be uh they're looking for uh where you live, how long you've lived there for, how long you've been in your job for. So they build a credit profile on you, how old you are, you know, all these sorts of things. Now, and then once you get a credit score, they will then figure out if it's going to pass or not. If it's not passing with that lender, don't worry, because there's other lenders to choose from. There's, there's lots to choose from, as I said. There's also some lenders that look at a bit more adverse credit or subprime Tight. So if it's really bad, then there's, there's still some options, at least to get you on the ladder. Next question was from Emily in Dunfermline. What options do I have if I have a bad credit history? I've perhaps just covered that, Emily, in short form, but again, it's not one size fits all. It depends how bad it is. It depends how long ago it was and depends on the circumstances. Some lenders are, computer says no, thanks very much. Other lenders have a different approach. Let's have a look at the file. Let's find out about the circumstances of what happened, when it happened, how it happened. Uh, and then and then we assess the whole thing. So how big your deposit is will also help you because if you've got a bigger deposit, lenders take a more lenient approach because it's less risk for them. So again, what options do I have if I have a bad credit history? It depends how bad it is and it also depends on your circumstances. Again, I wouldn't rule anything out. I would have a look at it at first. So I've just helped a client recently who's had a very, very, very poor credit history from the past. He's been bankrupt in the past. His house has been repossessed in the past, uh, but he's got a big deposit and I can get him a mortgage. And that's going back. So 2010 and 2013, two events happened. Uh, and I can still get my mortgage today because he's got a big deposit today. So again, it, there's a possibility. We'd need to have a wee look at it. But last question is from John. Uh, John uh, is asking, my partner has poor credit history, what can I do? Again, this all ties in. So it depends how bad your partner's credit history is. The, if it's really, really bad and we cannot get your partner on the mortgage, there's a good chance that we can just get you on the mortgage, John. And that is going to then come down to affordability, whether you can afford the mortgage in your own right. But ultimately... Uh, it, there's there's definitely still possibilities if we can get her on great if not we can get you on and then my advice is always let's get you on and then in two years time or three years time we'll ho hopefully your partner's credit history is, is built since then we can help her build that over the next two three years we can then get her put on to that mortgage uh but in that time you know, you can make sure that you get an agreement written up between the two of you whilst she's not on the mortgage that if anything happens, you still get your fair share if things don't go to plan, if you like. That's a very, very brief coverage of the subject, but it is a very, very popular subject. So if you've got any other questions that are more relevant to you and your circumstances, please just get in touch with us. Uh, if you'd rather do that privately, you can email me at info at Stacey, that's S T isi.co.uk so that's the bearded broker uh, for another week and we'll see you again uh, next week but if you've got any questions please let us know thank you very much and we'll see you soon